Man, who'd have thought? Hide getting busted for possession, I mean. I just thought it'd be like armed robbery or pimping. Yeah, something cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hide in jail. <laughs> hey guys, do you think he's anyone's girlfriend yet? <laughs> Queso, he's been in jail for three hours. Of course he's someone's girlfriend. <laughs> he has very pretty eyes. Well, if he was someone's girlfriend, I think it might look a little something like this. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, Curly Q. Would you like to perform an unspeakable act on me, or would you prefer that I perform one on you? Well, they both sound good. Dealer's choice. <laughs> you have done a horrible thing with a children's toy. <clears throat> huh. Bet you didn't want me to see this, did you? Hey, welcome back, man! We were worried about... I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh... You know, curly Q is... can be... is a term of endearment. So, when do we meet your new fella? <laughs> I am so baked. Think. No, yeah, I am. Think. You know, guys, I've been living my life all wrong. All I ever thought about was school. Studying, reading, homework. Well, that's over. Thanks, Hyde. <laughs> hey, man, don't thank me. Thank my mom. If she hadn't passed out, I couldn't have raided her stash. You have the best mom ever. <laughs> hey guys, you know what? Yesterday, I was wrestling with Donna, and I felt her boob. It was beautiful. It's squishy. Squishy. Hey guys, I had this dream that I was kissing my English teacher. And when I woke up, I was stuck in my bed. <laughs> Kelso man, that's not normal. You could die. Hey, isn't your English teacher a guy? Yeah. No, I mean my Spanish teacher. She's a girl. Man, what's in this stuff? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm having the best time ever. Think. No, yeah, I am. Hey, guys, look what I found in my sister Lori's drawer. Mints, a whole month's worth. They're not minty. They're not mints, they're birth control pills, you headgear wearing moron. Hey, when I grow up, I'm gonna be handsome. Really? Did your mommy tell you that? Yeah. Also, you're the king. Jackie didn't give me the time of the day. I hate this stupid magazine. Oh no, I didn't mean it, I love you. <laughs> Hey, Fez, check this out. Tight pants turn a man's derriere into a lady's dream. And an open shirt shows a sexy chest and an irresistible joie de vie. Really? I always thought my joie de vie was in my pants. <laughs> okay, I can't believe I'm asking you guys this, but if any of you losers had a girlfriend, would you still look at those magazines? Hey. I had two girlfriends, and a little action on the side. And I still looked at those magazines. You had action on the side? Who? No, you don't know her, she went to Sacred Heart. Okay, anybody here have an opinion who's not a skeevy pig? I'm glad you asked, Donna. If I had Jackie, I would never look at those magazines. Unless she's on the phone, or went shopping, or... Took a short nap. <sighs> Look, Donna, this is just the way guys are, okay? I mean, if Foreman was actually dating the the naughty campus co-eds, he'd be locked in a bathroom looking at naked pictures of you. He's right. So, are there naked pictures of you? <laughs> oh, my <eye! laughs>
Knee him in the groin. Oh! Oh my God, she did it! <laughs> Man, Donna saw Shelly practically living in my lap. How could she not be jealous? It's because you are decent, good-hearted, and pure. You know, it's easy. Barman, I think what we need here is some input from Tater Nuts. Tater Nuts, what do you think, Tater Nuts? Eric, this... Hey, stop calling me Tater Nuts! If Don is not jealous, I mean, it means... Basically, you're in the free and clear. I, she's giving you the okay to cheat. You got it, Chief. Hmm. Tater nuts makes sense. Quit it! I mean, I could be with Shelly right now if I wanted to, so why shouldn't I? Because then you would have two women when some people have none. Forget it, Foreman. You're not a cheater. You know, wise man once said, know thyself. That man's name was Tater Nuts. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, okay? I I do shave my legs. I just, I just like the way it feels. So it turns out my super sensitive guy boyfriend wants me to be a baby machine. <laughs> a dill hole. Donna, I'm sitting right here. That's why I said you dill hole. Donna, the only reason I thought you'd stay home with the baby is because only every woman has done it for the entire history of time. So don't be mad at me. Be mad at your foremothers. <laughs> So typical. As if every woman wants to spend her life as a pampered housewife, raising kids and organizing the help. But isn't that what every woman wants? Donna, man. Foreman's just limited by his experiences. As the voice of a new generation of smart, independent women, you need to make this dill hole realize that a mind and spirit like yours has more options than your mother's had. Yeah. Sorry, what? All right, Donna, so... Are we cool? <laughs> I missed my funnel. <laughs> Eric, drink. Okay. <laughs> I was tattooed, and I lived on Fantasy Island. My fantasy would be to not be a midget. Am I right? <laughs> Meanie, miney, Foreman. You know, I, at first I thought your dad was a real dirtbag. But I've come to realize that there's a fine line between dirtbag and father of the year. Damn. Hey, Les, I have to be honest. I've never played quarters before, so I probably stink. Oh, happy day. Ready? Man, this is the worst game in the world. I'm so thirsty. Damn it! Eric, drink! I mean, he lives on Fantasy Island, man. And he's a midget. It's so obvious. Hmm. Did anyone else feel kind of woozy? Hell, man. If I make this shot, I promise I will not pick you, Eric. I pick you, Eric. It's fun to lie. No. <laughs> Best thing about this joke, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> and not only do we break the law, we screwed our friends while breaking the law. How dumb was he to give me the car keys? 
here trust me? Oh, Not me. Added. Thank you. You know what? Stolen food does taste better. Did you know what? Guys, I feel bad about Eric and Dana. Maybe we should figure out a way to help them. Sure, we could do that. Or <laughs> we could ask ourselves, how can we make this worse? Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! I haven't seen Donna in two days. She's been spending all her time at the radio station. This is a real problem. Oh, well, here we go again. Foreman's got a problem. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I got a problem, man. Did you ever think of that? Oh, man, Hyde, I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Unload. Actually, I'm cool. <laughs> and that's how you do it. You have a problem, and you hold it in, man. Now leather up, fruitcake. I have a problem. But I guess I'll keep it all inside. Hey, you guys. So, Leo agreed to sell me the El Camino for like 500 bucks. So, what I need from you is 500 bucks. <laughs> Hey, I'm Hyde. I don't feel anything. I'm just a frizzy-haired robot. <laughs> hey, I'm Foreman. I use the same voice to imitate everybody. It's just that I... I... Nothing. Okay. Suddenly you're face to face with the dragon of fear. I should have worn my gauntlet of ogre's strength. Dumb. Any ideas, Mandar? Well, there's my rod of cancellation, but it's chancy. Yeah. You know, a girl once promised to play with us, but she didn't show up. Cheer up, King Zentar the Great. Let's get out there and slay that dragon. It's not his fault, okay? I didn't make her wear that big, goofy underwear. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're hanging out with this crowd, you gotta know that eventually your pants are getting pulled down. Am I right? I am so glad I did not pull down Caroline's pants. <laughs> I mean, if she asked me to, I would. <laughs> because I respect her wishes. <laughs> and also, I am so horny. Foreman, when I told you to be funny to give Donna panties, I meant it'd be funny to me. <laughs> It was. This is what happened in my heart when I found out Lori was cheating on me. It's lemon. How could you do this? I, I, I really thought we had something. Probably the same way you did with the Jackie. Only this time it's even funnier because it's you. <laughs> it's a good day. Tonight, I am going to ask Caroline to go steady with me. Because that is the last step before you can do it, right? <laughs> oh, how I want to do it. <laughs> I am so horny. Guys, I gotta tell you something. I'm omnipotent. <laughs> 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 Much better. Yeah. Now instead of feeling scared and anxious, I feel relaxed and... relaxed. I know we're probably gonna get beaten, but it was worth it because we show we have tremendous school spirit. <laughs> School spirit is for losers, man. You're just like floating along on a conveyor belt of conformity. Pep rallies, extracurricular activities, washing your hair. It's all just a trap, man. Yeah, Fez, it's one thing to root for a football team, but to confuse the Point Place Vikings with a sense of personal identity, that's just... 
relaxing. <laughs> We're all gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> Honesty's cool, man. It's like I can do anything wrong and then ask for forgiveness and then I'm good again. Someone should invent a religion like that. <laughs> okay, so did anyone besides me think that some of the guys in that movie were not completely average? <laughs> like, you know, they were way, way above average. Well, you don't go into that line of work when you're below average. You just praise some hot, red-headed neighbor girl likes you for your personality. What are you talking about? Those men were completely average. In fact, I found the guy with a mustache down right puny. See? Now, Fez, that's not honest. I mean, we all know you're small in the pants. What I'm saying is, is from here on in, I, I'm only telling the truth. In fact, I'm gonna come clean to Jackie about everything. Fine. You want honesty? I'll give you honesty. We are all small in the pants. Kelso, this might be your best idea ever. You know what? You should make a list of all the lies you've ever told to Jackie, and I'll help you. Because all I really want is for you to be happy. You guys, honestly, you don't think Donna's, you know, bored, right? Because those guys in the movie, they didn't do the same move twice. And I've done the same move, like, always. I bet they go to a special school or something. They're like doctors are doing it. Eric, dinner! Oh, no. Now I have to act normal. I get to eat, yeah. <laughs> Lucy, these brownies are wonderful. They make me feel silly. <laughs> Don't you just love those dried mint flakes? Someone sold them to me off the street. Um, I don't think these are mint flakes. I'm flying. <laughs> Lucy, you got some splitting to do. <laughs> Guys, I have to admit something. I love Anne Murray. She puts me in a mood. So, guys, next time instead of going to Canada, let's just stay here and pretend we're in Canada. So, how's it going, eh? Hey, you know if Fonzie ever played a Mountie on Happy Days? He could go, eh, eh. Ah, the ring of love. Just holding it makes me feel mellow and content. Actually, that might not be the ring. <laughs> Why is everybody but Fess in love? If I don't get some romance soon, I'm going to give myself a blister. Well, another blister. Tell you what, Fez. I'm going to take you cruising for chicks in the El Camino. And I'm going to let you buy the gas. And buy my dinner. And if we meet a chick, I'm going to let you walk home. Guys, what if Jackie doesn't want a ring from a guy like me? I mean, sure, I'm good looking, but I can't be trusted. No, you guys are the perfect couple. You do the bad stuff, and she tries to catch you. She's smoky to your bandit. God, it's like that movie applies to everything. I just... I wish there was a way I could give Jackie a thing that wasn't actually the ring, you know? Like a, a test gift, just to see what she would say, and then if it went bad, I could just walk away. Hey, am I talking in rhyme? <laughs> I wish I could do that all the time. <laughs>